So we've lived in the bus for two weeks. So of course that means we get to remodel the entire pantry and fridge. <laughs> no, seriously, that's what we're actually doing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alice. And I'm Kristen. And, and this, this is our bus. bus. So in our first two weeks, we found out that this fridge uses way too much power. I had tried to save some money by going with a regular residential fridge. I thought by going smaller, it would be fine, but it definitely was not fine. It's not very efficient and it runs on 110, which means the inverter has to be on all the time for it to be running. So between those two things, it just ran all the time and took up all of our power. And we're replacing that fridge with this one, a brand new Iceco VL75, I think. It was not cheap. I think we paid about $875 for it, but it is dual 12 volt and 120 volt. It is designed to be low power. It's got dual zones, so we can set one side to be a fridge, one side to be a freezer. And all the reviews and tests and everything online I could see said it was a really, really good quality one. So not cheap, but this is the way we should have done it in the first place. Cypress is coming out to help with the renovation. He always comes out in the supervisor capacity and then he spends like one minute looking at the project and then he falls asleep. So what I'm going to do is build a slide out tray for this that will be the size of the box with some cutouts for vents and power and stuff like that. Uh, and then it'll have the rails that we're going to salvage from the bottom shelf, which are the heavy duty rails. And this time I'm going to build it out of three quarter inch plywood, which should be a lot easier to build. So we spent the morning getting the bed fixed, uh, the old bench gone, uh, the seat belts installed onto the electrical bench, and the new Victron solar controller mounted, but we're short a circuit breaker. So got that ordered. So now it's ready to disassemble all of this stuff. Well, that took a lot of work, but now we can start building the new stuff. This is our workspace. We just took over my parents' driveway. <laughs> Cypress did a good job supervising and now it's his break time. We're starting day two. Yesterday I got the bed done, the new solar power thing mostly done, but we're missing a circuit breaker. And we got the fridge out and we got the cabinets disassembled and then I got the new one partially made. So the goal before lunch is to get the entire cabinet built and then hopefully we can paint this afternoon and tomorrow morning and then be done by Sunday night. So let's go. Lift this up and then back. We want to cut it before we come in. It. And let's go over there. Here's the big test to see if all of this works and the drawer slides. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> Much better, okay. Okay. Well, this is the end of day two. We are ahead of schedule. We got everything built, painted, just have to mount the rails again, and then everything will be ready for install tomorrow. It was great having everyone in the family help out with doing all the different pieces of things, and it really came together really well. So, appreciate all that help. It's the start of day three. Let's get this stuff moved into the bus. Oh, buddy. <laughs> No, that's actually super dangerous. And you stepped in my tray of connectors. Good thing you are part of the team. He's helping. <laughs> my goodness. This is the test. Oh, there it goes. We got lights. Just finished up the fridge project. Everything went really well. Uh, it is a little tight on opening it because uh, the paint got it thick enough that it got it jammed in there a bit. So we'll have to work our way through that. Otherwise, here's what the inside looks like. So freezer section, 
and fridge section. And the controls on the side, you can set to whatever temperature you want. So that part's done, and then we'll start experimenting with how much power that's drawing. The other projects we got done while here are, the bed is now fixed, and it has new support legs, and the entire bench is gone. The new fridge is there, and we'll be getting some shelves on top that will attach to this. That'll be our, all of our storage, but we're gonna have to go find that. We fixed the gate so the cat can't fit through the corner. We got the hitch raised, so hopefully we won't be bottoming out as much anymore. So we asked Alice's mom if she would paint the word diesel above our diesel tank because we want to make sure that if anybody is filling up the gas that they know that it's only diesel. And it looks amazing. We're really happy with it. Thank you for watching and next week we're going to be headed back up to the mountains so that'll be a nice change. Bye! Bye!